should Jurgen Klopp be sacked? Or at the very least, should Jurgen Klopp be criticized? And I read, I want to read this out to you. Jurgen Klopp has spent, spent 150 million in the summer, this season, sorry. Out of all the cup competitions, eighth in the league, only won 48% of games. Any other manager would be destroyed by the media and their job under pressure. Should Liverpool consider sacking Jurgen Klopp, in your opinion? Yeah. 100%. They've given up, mate. That game against City at the weekend, they literally gave up. Like, they scored a good goal, nice finish from Salah. After that, it was men against boys. And they literally, and listen, Man City were fantastic, you know, but got to have a bit of, a bit of heart, man. And, and they didn't have any of that. They've, they've, they've given up. And, and not only that, they look worn out. Like, mentally, physically, freshen it up, man. Doesn't matter what he's done before. And listen, I don't care if they sack him or not. Long may it continue. <clears throat> yeah, because the way them lot are going on, mm. it's like they're the greatest ever Premier League team. You've won one title in 30 years. Uh, and you're going on like the best Premier League team of all time. Not really, mate. Uh, at the end of the day, if you want to keep that manager there, well, good luck for the next four, five, six years, however long you keep him, because we did this with Wenger. Oh, but look at what he did for the club. Yeah, and all it does is throw you back 10 years. So, yeah, he should be sacked, but they won't sack him. Yeah, and their fans, half of them, if not more, don't want him sacked. Yeah, it's, oh, no, but let's get to the side. Let's just get through this season. No Europe would do us a favour. We've heard all of that one. They've literally gone from being millimetres away from doing a quad last season to, no, nah, no Europe would do us a favour. What are you mm. chatting about? Like, the excuses are mad. I can't lie. Yeah, the excuses are mad. And I don't care whether they got 99 points and 97 points, mate. They didn't win the league. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether they got 100 points. If Man City got 101, nobody cares. Man, Man United... Man United don't have 14 Premier League titles because we lost one on goal difference. <laughs> we we, mm. we have 13. And yeah, yes, it's a Man City, Aguero, wasn't it? Was it the Aguero one? Yes. This is the thing with, with, with Liverpool. I think Jurgen Klopp is a great manager. A great, He's in the great category. I think Jurgen Klopp has built, he built a brilliant Liverpool team. But he is accountable for so many of their problems this season. The high line that he never addresses. And... Ten Hag spoke about it earlier when we played the clip. You have a process, you have a style, you want to play a certain way. But winning is more important, you have to adjust. And he's not, Jurgen Klopp either doesn't want to, which is a conscious decision, or he doesn't have the ability to adjust. He doesn't have the ability to go, right, we need to sit 10 yards deeper because my defense can't handle my style anymore. We have to play a different way. He either can't do it or he's refusing to do it. And both of those two things, are massively damaging. And the le the lack of criticism I see him get, I went on to Talk Sports Twitter page today and I went down all their, all their video clips they've put out. Loads about Chelsea and their debacle, which we'll get on to. Loads about Man United having major problems. Not a, I've, This is from Saturday onwards. The only clips they put out about Liverpool were Mark Goldbridge when he said that they were on five less points than Ralph Ragnick's team last year. They didn't get a spanking like Man United got a spanking. But they got beat 4-1, and it could have been more. And yet, silence. There's almost silence towards him. And this is detrimental to Liverpool because it, it means he'll keep his job. And he, he himself has said that, he, that if he was any other manager, he'd be his job would be under pressure. And your job has to be under pressure at all times. The pressure creates diamonds. Mm. It does. And at the moment... And not only that, top clubs yeah, stay no, top no. clubs because they, they, they know when to get rid. Yeah, we were just talking about Ancelotti 10, 15 minutes ago. They're waiting on that Chelsea game. And if he gets knocked out, he's gone. Adios. Goodbye. Exactly. Ciao. Exactly. Yeah. And, and this is why they stay at the top. Bayern Munich got rid of Nigelsmann when they were second in the league. And everyone, like, and when I went on Bayern Munich's Twitter account, when it was announced that he was sacked, 90% of the comments on there were not Bayern Munich fans. It was all other fans of other clubs all around the world going, oh, it's a disgrace. No, Bayern Munich actually understand the aim of elite sport. Yeah. And they can, they can hit the the switch and say, see you later, when they can see that saying ain't right. Whether that's after one game, whether that's after 101 games, whether that's after one year, 10 years, whatever. Yeah, the problem with Liverpool, they went 30 years without winning a title. Mm. So then they've won a title and their fans are so emotionally attached to that manager now that they can't let go. Yeah, and the media, a lot of the media, Terry, are Liverpool anyway, and let's be real here. Yeah, a lot, lot of the pundits and, and, and the journos out there are Liverpool fans, a lot of them. So they're never going to sit there and openly criticise the one man yeah, that has won them their only title in 30 years. And, and bro, on, on top of this as well, this is, this is a bit that's, there's a comment here from uh, GMG, G, 
GMG that says Klopp has won everything. If you don't think he deserves another season, you're a fool. That's a fair point. He maybe does deserve another season. But even admitting and saying, we'll give him one more year, is conceding that he is accountable for some of the problems that you've got this year. Mm. It's just the burying the head in the sand, not blaming Klopp, not criticizing Klopp at all for anything that's going on is absolutely ridiculous. I just want to say as well, why does he deserve another year? For what? Because you, you've done that in your head and gone, oh, yes, he deserves another year because he won us four trophies over. No, who cares? This is elite high end sport. It's an elite level sport. Yeah, football clubs don't stand still because we, you want to give Klopp an extra year because he deserves it. Yeah, and this is the difference between top clubs and the, the elites. Yeah, this is elite level football. But not every club is elite. And this is why, because there's too many people sentimental and emotionally invested in a manager of their football club. They're more interested in his reputation and his career and him bowing out with dignity and grace. And what a legend rather than um, than actually keeping the football club winning. Like, and somebody yeah. said no, that, that comment there is perfect. Elite managers don't grow on trees. Well, Ancelotti is available in the summer, mate. Yeah, Simeone's available in the summer, and you're sitting there and go, "Oh, I don't want Simeone ball at the uh, at, at Anfield." Straight away, you've dismissed the top manager Luis because Enrique. you want Klopp over that guy. Luis Enrique, Luke, Luis Enrique is available now. So Luis is Nigelsmann. The amount of hipsters that were telling us last week, Terry, that Nigelsmann's a top manager. Why don't Liverpool want him then? This, this is the thing as well. Based on the logic that you shouldn't sack Klopp because there's no elite level managers, that means you should. Theoretically, he could stay forever because you may never find a manager. Yes, on that basis, as soon as he does leave, like, God forbid he don't keel over today. But if he does, what, you just fold in shop. Close the shop. We're folded. There's no elite managers. No, forget it. We're done. <laughs> what is this mentality, mate? The, the, this emotional crazy. attachment to a paid employee who don't deserve anything because he's already been paid his wage. Yeah. Oh, he needs it. He deserves another year. Look at what he's done for the club. No, 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 no. This is not Disneyland, mate. Yeah, we don't do all of this crap at elite level sport. Well, we shouldn't do. But this is why football now is so trash compared to 30 years ago, because of all this sentimental BS that's come into it. Like, they're paid employees. At some point, Klopp is gone. Whether he leaves or whether he gets sacked, he will be gone. Your football club will still be there. So I don't understand why he deserved. Why does he deserve it? Well done. You won a Champions League. You've won a league, you've won an FA Cup, you've won a League Cup. Well done. You've been paid millions and millions of pounds to achieve that. You've done it. Cool. See you later. We're going in a different direction. And that is why they went 30 years in the first place without winning anything. Or without winning a league, should I say. Mate, no, no. I, I have I, this I, sentiment, especially Liverpool fans, I totally get this sentimental attitude towards and, their managers. And this, is where and you need to, and this is where you need to be careful. Because let's just say Luis Enrique and Diego, I'm just going to name the manager, Diego Simeone and Nangwazman, all get snapped up by someone else. And then Klopp next season's awful, even worse. Then you sack him and there's even less quality around. Then what, do you do? then what do you do? Uh, super <laughs> Super Brendan Jack Rogers is available. <laughs> 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 he nearly won him a league. 